Okay guys, so finally I am really excited to be doing this video and this video is all about embedded audio and video capabilities in the Ultimate eBook Creator. Started a brand new uh, book, yeah, and um, I'm just going to type in um, audio video test, yeah, and I'm just going to copy this into um, just gonna type in my name in here and we don't have to worry about the um, the keywords but we could put audio video enhanced Kindle something like that and we're gonna go ahead and save it so I'm just gonna say audio video test save my project okay so what we'll do is we'll create a chapter and I'll say chapter one on embedding audio so in this chapter I'm going to embed audio I'm going to type in this is the audio right all right so what I want to do now is you can actually en embed your video anywhere you can even put it in between uh, the words or in between you know words in a sentence but I'm gonna uh, embed my audio right here so all you need to do is basically put your cursor where you want your audio you go up to the media tab okay so the media menu is right here and then we're gonna select insert audio okay so this dialog pops up and the first thing that you need is the title of the audio so people uh, cheering mp3 yeah so this audio is actually of people cheering and um, that's the title that we're gonna put and for the file we're gonna go and select the file so I'm gonna browse and we have I've already prepared the file which is an mp3 now I do recommend mp3 and no other um, formats like a WAV file or anything else um, always use an mp3 okay now you will know the duration so you'll have to know the duration of the audio file I'm just gonna make something up okay the, this is just some information um, obviously you need to know the duration of your mp3 file so once you know that you can uh, configure that in the duration this is a required uh, field these are basically all required fields by uh, Amazon KDP and then what we have here is the fallback text and what that is is that if a device cannot um, support an embedded audio then this device this sorry this fallback text will be displayed right in the book to tell the reader that this particular device um, cannot uh, support audio so you can change this this is the default that Amazon provides so that's that's why I provided this now you can change it to whatever you want and also here I've made this an option called show player controls now this is mandatory uh, from Amazon Kindle's uh, point of view or I should say Amazon KDP so you must always have this checked on but anyway I've given the option if you want to check it off maybe some of the devices like the book iBook uh, sorry the iPad um, or the Barnes & Noble the Kobo or some other device might be able to support um, playing the audio without players but for Kindle KDP this is a requirement okay and that's it we click OK and what will happen is you'll get this little green icon okay so this little green icon will appear now um, you can if you want to edit this all you need to do is basically click on this alright so you click on it to to uh, select it and then you go up to the media and then you say edit media okay so you get your media coming back you can make some changes here and you can click save okay so that's how you add audio now video it's exactly the same thing I'm just gonna create chapter 2 
and I'm going to say video, all right? And in chapter two, um, once again, I'm just going to quickly format this heading, and then I'm going to say this is an example of embedding video. And once again, I'm just going to go ahead and format. Now, for some reason, I'm not sure why, but this styling gets kind of, uh, you know, it gets carried over to the um, to the text uh, below. But anyway, that's something that I might need to fix later on. Okay, so here we go. We're going to embed a video right here. So once again, we say media em embed or insert video. And now this is a slightly bigger dialog box, okay? And what we have here is a title. So I'm just going to say hot air balloons because that's what the video is all about. And once again here, we, we need to um, select an MP4 file, okay? No other format is supported by Kindle. Um, and even if it is, I highly recommend MP4. It's a really good um, format that um, if somebody's reading your book in any other reader, MP4 is the standard, and that's what we recommend. Okay, so always render your file as an MP4, not a uh, AVI or any other format. It's got to be MP4, okay? All right. Now, once again, we need to supply the duration, okay? And... Um, you can you can if you if you load your M, your MP4 into um, you know Windows Media Player or any other player, you'll be able to know the duration of the file. Now the poster file, okay, is an image that will be shown in the blank area where the video is, okay, and that is because when the video is not playing, you don't want to see a black. A rectangular box, right? So you want to see some kind of image on top, and that's called a poster file. Okay, so this should be a JPEG file, and um, I happen to have one here. So we'll click on balloon, JPEG. Now the width and height you can supply any width and height. Um, I'm just gonna say um, something like 600. Uh, by 400 or something like this but obviously it will depend on the size of your video but it will actually render your video depending on these dimensions so in order to keep the optimum size and quality I would actually create a video of 600 by 400 and not size it with you know by, by setting so you can't you know sometimes you might have a video which is you know 1200 by something and then you say, oh, I want to squish it down to 600 by 400. Well, for one, you're wasting a valuable space, yeah, because your your video um, is going to be uh, is going to be quite large, and your ebook is going to become large. So it doesn't make any sense, right? So what you want to do is you want to actually make the video exactly the size that you want it to appear in the book, and then you set the width and height accordingly. Once again. I've made these an option, but show video play controls is mandatory in the Kindle KDP books. Auto uh, auto play video is an option here. Um, you can turn it on or off. I normally don't have this on. And then once again, we have the fallback text here. Okay, so you can type whatever you want in the fallback text. And then for the devices that can't handle embedded video, um, I'm also giving you a link. Right, so you can supply a link to a video. So, for example, you can link to a, a YouTube video or something like that. So, if you, if the device cannot play, then it'll show up. This link can show up, yeah. And this is an optional link, so you can type in a link if you want, or you can keep. You know, you don't have to. Um, for this purpose, I'm not going to put any link here, and I'm going to click OK. All right. So once again, you see a little video, a little red video icon that basically specifies that we have video embedded here and a green um, and a green icon um, with the little speaker symbol indicates that we have a audio and that's basically it that's all you have to do
to embed audio and video. And there's one more thing I want to show you which is really powerful is let's say for example you have let's say I'm gonna I'm gonna embed um, I'm gonna embed a few more video audios, right? So here I'm gonna embed another uh, video in here. Uh, I'm just gonna call it test one two three and I'm gonna actually choose the same balloon file. I'm gonna just just type, you know, just entering some uh, it's duplicating but that's okay that's the intent here right so I've got one here and then on this page I'm gonna embed another audio okay so test audio 2 I'm gonna select my mp3 file once again it's the same we'll click OK alright so if you might have a book with a chapter or section with several videos and you know you don't know which one is which and you want uh, a very convenient and easy way to manage your audio and video then I have a feature for you which you're going to enjoy so basically what you want to do is you want to go to media and then you say manage media yeah so this dialog pops up and this dialog is basically showing you all the audio and video tags uh, or embedded uh, audio and video tags which are basically on this in this chapter or section so here is a very convenient place for you to kind of do your math editing so what you can do is you can turn on you can actually locate on your um, if you want to locate any uh, any one of these audio or video all you need to do is basically click on the um, the item and you can click locate and what it's going to do is it's actually going to locate it so if I go like this and I say locate then it locates it yeah now if you want to make if you want to do this automatically then you just click this auto locate checkbox and now every time I do this it's going to automatically um, locate your icon okay now the other thing you can do is you can edit this so instead of editing it from here you can do but here's a convenient way to edit it so basically you can double click on the item and you go right into the edit or you can select the item and you can click the edit button here okay so I've given you a f you know some convenient features and obviously you can actually even delete so if you want to delete um, this particular audio you can you can just select it um, let's say for example here oops I want to delete this so I select it and I click delete it's gonna ask me are you sure I say yes it's deleted and it's gone okay now you can even delete from here so let me close this and I'm gonna scroll down to this icon I'm gonna select it and I'm gonna go to media and I'm gonna say delete media so it's gonna say are you sure I'll click OK and it's gone. Now, if one thing that you really need to understand and be careful is that you should never just highlight and press the delete key. If you do that, there is you're going to have an orphan reference, right? Um, in here, right? If you look at this, this is an item. This, this is this is an an object in memory okay and it's linked to this image so the right way to delete an embedded audio or video is to select and actually use these options of delete or delete here right and if you do that then I can clean up properly if you just go ahead and delete this then you're gonna have this thing in memory sitting there forever right and you will never be able to delete this okay so you know once again you know don't just delete the icon by hitting the the delete button um, not a good idea because they are kinda linked um, unfortunately um, this particular editor won't allow uh, me to uh, protect this image so you can't delete it but anyway um, that's some something that may happen in the future because it, it is a third party component and it's not something that I wrote okay so having said that, um, we're already at almost 16 minutes. I think that's enough. So 
just like everything else, you know, you can embed your audio and video, then you can go up to export, you can make a MOBI file, or you can create an EPUB file, and then you can test it out. Now, finally, let me say this. As of recording this video, um, I've been talking to Amazon KDP, and they've told me very clearly that small-time publishers like me and you um, cannot even if even though you create a book like this this audio or video will never ever show up um, playable in the ebook you're only gonna get a message which is the fallback text which says that this device does not support audio or video okay so I just want you to know that Amazon KDP for small publishers not for large publishers for small publishers like me and you even if you create an enhanced Kindle ebook with audio or video, you are not going to, your book is not going to show the audio or video. Now, having said that, if you create the same book and you publish it on iBookstore or Barnes and Noble, I found that the audio and video works. <laughs> okay, so it's just a matter of time before Kindle will support this okay and they've told me very clearly that uh, it's not a technology thing it's really to do with their uh, terms uh, you know terms of uh, terms and agreements and they're just trying to logistically sort that out so you know they can enforce those terms and conditions within the audio or video because obviously those things are not text based they're you know it's a media so they need to have a way of you know kind of um, uh, making sure that your media complies to their terms and agreements right so I can understand where they're coming from now if you're a really large publisher uh, on Amazon uh, and if you go on Amazon right now and you type in Amazon enhanced Kindle edition with audio and video you're gonna see a lot of titles there okay a lot of titles but those are from large publishers so they work with these large publishers and you know they're then they they're able to uh, allow the their books to have the audio and video and because we're small timers we'll just have to wait okay but anyway the good news is that the Ultima ebook creator ha does support audio and video and it is available if you create your book for the iBook store or Barnes and Noble um, or any other uh, platform um, then you should be able to um, you know see the audio and video and I've actually tested this um, on an iBook uh, sorry an iPad and um, it, it works fantastic it, it, everything shows up and it works really well so um, there you have it okay I'm almost at 20 minutes I'm gonna stop but um, that's the audio and video support and we'll see you in the next one.